All right, hello everyone. It's Mystic Juicer back with some more Yo Me action. And we've got Carpe Guitarum versus Nope the Bard in IYL. And uh, Carpe playing Onimaru, no surprise there. Nope the Bard playing Rook, also no surprise. We joined pretty early. Uh, so it looks like we're they're just getting started. We've got four blocks from Nope. Uh, two fives in the discard already. That's probably the, uh, the source of that 10 damage, or that 20 damage. Taking out the claps. Not using the four to bait some kind of uh, play from Carpe and that not working out. Carpe Guitar, I'm saying, you know what? If you want to throw me for 15 or for 10, that is totally fine. If you want to sit there and block, I have the better late game. I will also be fine with that. Ooh, catches him with the king. Not a great trade, but still will come ahead in the life totals after this. We will take those uh, those five damage positive trades. So ten hit point life lead again. Not not a tremendous uh, tremendous amount there. I like the four attack there from Carpe, uh, trying to look for the guard crush on the revealed four. Yep, four comes out immediately afterwards, saying, "Yeah, you're probably not going to." Uh, not going to go for anything crazy there. Okay, power's up for single ace. Looking to potentially use this as an opportunity to set up some nine blocks, maybe. I think if I'm Carpe Guitar, I play a ten here. Ooh, ten would have been spicy. Uh, Carpe evades the ten attack. Okay, dodges into it instead. Got two ways of beating it, totally fine. Takes the life lead back. Eight card hand for both players. Uh, life totals probably favoring Onimaru at this point. Do you have Ace Ace possibly on deck? Ooh, seven throw narrowly outspeeding an eight throw. Are they looking to catch? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's like you're knocked down. I'm gonna go for the safest thing I can. I mean, uh, I think Nope the Bard is, is getting pretty aggressive here, so I think probably Wake Up Joker was fine there anyway. Wake Up Joker against Rook is good at all times, but definitely if you transfer aces, that is a nice little bonus. Okay, yeah, looking to uh, just control the neutral with that ace. Nope gets to uh, build somewhat of a hand. Nice, undercuts the six with the jack. We have jack seven, eight for max damage. Jack 10 for, for 14 is fine too. Yeah, 29 hit points is a bit of an awkward, uh, bit of an awkward total. Can't quite rock armor for lethal here. Ooh, this is a nice exchange if uh, Carpe does not yeah, do exactly what he's going to do because he has to. Um, still, with that 10 and taking only 10 damage, he's pulled three cards out of Carpe's hand. Um, so not a bad situation there. Does get a nice uh, opportunity to schmix the golem here. Okay, power up. Yep, yeah, three sevens. There we go. So ace ace threat putting uh, Carpe Guterum at nine. Only two special blocks in the discard. Ooh, yeah. Uh, three doesn't really beat anything. Uh, I guess he was just playing a relatively fast normal. To, uh, taking 20 for his troubles. Really fast card here from Nope. Yeah, fast nine block. That's that's hardcore. I like that. I like that mash. Mashing nine block is uh, is pretty sweet. So it could be a an attempt to punish a chase of that nine with a ten. Yep, and that's exactly what we see. Carpe Guitarum senses it and goes for the dodge, saying, "Hey, if you want to close this out, you're gonna have to throw me." Jumps into 20, evening things out. 
9 to 15. Anybody's game here. <laughs> pump the bard. <laughs> or uh, pump the Aaron extremely pleased. Oh no! Oh no, didn't have the 5. Uh, do you go for chip here? Ooh. Pulls the ace out of the hand, so we know there's no AA. Uh, King is safe to... Uh, Oh, and catches it with the eight throw. Very, very, very close first game. Wow. Yeah, I would be breathing a sigh, of, a heaving a sigh of relief if I was in Carpe Guitarum's shoes, that's for sure. Nope, the Bard immediately wants the rematch. Carpe Guitarum taking <laughs> a short five second break before getting back in. Nope, playing very quickly here. Uh, so is that a nine block? Nope. King also very effective. Carpe guitar, perhaps. Um, so, I mean, block, first turn block is, um, doesn't give us a lot of information for sure. I mean, he could have tens, just thought that uh, a poke of some kind was, was probably more likely. Uh, or could not have tens and therefore uh, looking to find some of those nice yeah Pates with the five punishes the king throw will be able to deal his own 15 here if he chooses no okay yeah i like that um probably indicates a weaker hand on carpe guitarum's side just trying to build to some more effective cards Ooh, gets it again it just has a handful of fives and uh this is a perfectly fine way to spend them. Is going to get the normal draw because the five does win combat. Yep, just lets it rock, building up to a 10 card hand here on the next turn. Down 10 hit points. Totally, totally, totally reasonable. Uh, nope, still has that nine in hand. Oh, fishes and gets caught with the seven attack. Immediate face down. Yeah, nope, the bard just lets it go. Pulls uh, a single card out of uh, Carpe's hand. Totally fine. Evens up hands. Uh, the seven doesn't naturally lead into anything great. Like, you can go seven, eight for 15, card neutral. It's okay. Ooh, just keeps going in with the throws, though. Nope, looking to catch something. Don't love that face down. Uh, definitely want to keep those for dodge punishes or late game. Uh, there's really no reason for Carpe to pump there. Seven damage is totally fine. Ooh, good dodge from Carpe. Um, not yet convinced that uh, Nope will... Uh, will throw him. Third seven, wow. Uh, just a very small life lead. Again, hand totals slightly favoring um, Nope here. A little too afraid of playing that nine because of a 10 possibly coming out. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, if we see the 10 come out right then, that's gonna be both physical and mental guard crush, I think. Uh, but now, now things are looking a little bit nicer for Nope. He's got the a distinct hand advantage. Um, it's only down ten hit points. Okay, going for the big, big, big punishes, big duffs. Carpe happy to take the cards. Definitely sensing that Nope is uh, too too worried to throw at the moment. And uh, Carpe shifting heavily his range from game one, where he was fairly aggressive throughout, um, and just going down to down back city. The blocks are safe, and the cards are pretty. 12-card hand now. Can shift to dodging. Okay, nope, sinks the throw. Nice. Evens up the life totals. And size, still quite good. 
has to worry about uh, final authority plays here. Uh, getting getting final authority with the uh, jack plus or king plus is not ideal here. Yeah. Very like, oh, we're not going to see it. Okay, okay. Uh, Carpe just has enough kings to, no, okay. That is not a great exchange for Carpe. We are going to see the rock armor. Yeah, good setup. Do we have six, seven, eight? No face down either. Okay, so no joker confirmed or at least unwilling to spend it on the rock armor turn there. So kind of a, a soft hand from uh, from Carpe, perhaps. I would definitely read into the fact that there was no final authority there and say, okay, you, I mean, you probably don't have it. Yeah, the further dodges uh, seem to indicate that as well. Ooh. Yep, and nope, the Bard has potential lethal setup off of rock armor here. Yep, and just steadily playing the special blocks. I like it. Figure that uh, Onimar is going to have a tough time getting back into the game with, uh, with normal throws. Nice. Nope, the bard saying like, okay, I mean, you can down back. I can down back too. <laughs> We've got half the blocks gone. Sinks another normal throw. And uh, it's looking real spooky for uh, the big orange man. We got one, two, three, four, five dodges left. Spends all of the queens for aces. I think at this point... Um, Honestly, the queens are maybe more valuable. Uh, just as raw, for, you know, continuous rock armor attempts. Um, the real important cards are going to be special blocks, though. Special blocks are going to be very, very valuable here. Just in terms of pressure against our, against Onimaru. There it is. Just plays the AA. Uh, Carpe looking for a special block there to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to beat the uh, uh, the final authority. <laughs> well, that's a new one. <laughs> okay. So, ties up the set. One to one. Yeah, it's very true. It wasn't incorrect except for the reason that it was. Okay. How will we start this uh, this fine game? I like it. Block, block. Immediate attack, yeah, from nope. Trying to catch tens. Slight card advantage to Onimaru. Dodges are starting to come online. Ooh, there it is. Oh, dear. There's the 10. Finds the block. Claw hammers open Rook and his defense. Eighty-eight to eighty, very close in terms of uh, life totals. Oh, yeah, seven queen pump, nice. Very much max damage punish from that uh, from that angle. Pumps with the ace, that's interesting. 
gets the five block reflecting 10 and uh, I mean the eights it's less valuable to block the eights for sure uh, you definitely want to be catching the tens just to remove them from the pile so once those four tens are gone uh, your nines are essentially like they work like normal blocks um, but piling on the damage here totally totally fine let no one say let no one say that uh, that reflecting 10 damage normals is not great yeah so there is currently a uh, under development new yomi style game um, in the sterling games patreon so if you want to check that out uh, you can play it uh, online with other people uh, for free so other than the cost of the patreon uh, through browser uh, like just basically through your internet browser so if you're interested at all in, if you're a fan of original yomi um, I think you will be uh, very pleased with the new game. There's some really, really neat mechanics. Um, and I'm having a blast. Um, yeah, originally, yeah, it's true. It's true. Okay, max pump for 15. It does reduce his hand size quite considerably, so this kind of resets the game back to neutral. Everybody's kind of playing, uh, you know, Onimaru is a little more likely to go for duffs and blocks rather than dodges. A rook can uh, try to get in with some throws if he'd like to. Uh, nope, just trying to point uh, to punish some uh, some pokes. From Carpe's side, two eights and a ten gone. Doesn't really mean a tremendous amount. That's still... Uh, Three tens, two eights, so five five cards floating around in fifty cards. Nice reflect. Uh, one of the matches where Stonewall is particularly effective, like you can always play it and get safely count on uh, if it works, it deals ten damage. Not a massive high end, but the low end is way higher than most other rook matches. Ooh. Gets that discarded blah, uh, ace back. 65 hit points to 30. This is where a greedy uh, checkmate buster uh, loses you the game. Uh, but a smart checkmate buster does win you the game. So we'll see what ends up happening. Carpe definitely likely to play fearful. Uh, two fives in the discard, so you're probably not going to take too much damage if you just play a uh, a final authority attempt. Okay, goes in with the sixth throw, so doesn't lose the checkmate buster. That's nice. Does take 15, though. Still a nice 20 hit point life lead. Onimaru with 10 cards. Ooh, yep. Just uh, just scared, basically. I mean, Jack is very safe there. Uh, two fives in the discard means you're most likely, the worst thing's going to happen is that uh, Rook's going to gain another card. Do we have final authority? Yes, we do. Never go in without protection. How many kings do we have is the question. Okay, just the one. So not a terrible situation here for, uh, for Nope the Bard. We, we suspect that Carpe has another Jack, probably, given that he played the, the one. Uh, although it's possible, yeah, it's possible. A very nice wake up Ace Ace, by the way. Uh, trying to find, and, and Carpe gets opened up trying to look for a, a cross-up opportunity there um oh oh didn't have the four aces okay well <laughs> i would have believed that the uh that the cmb was real that was a lot of power-ups <laughs> Ooh. 
wrong side, but that's fine. Still get in there with 18. Okay, anybody's game now. Um, yeah, very unlikely that um, Nope has a Joker. Possible that uh, Carpe does, but at 10 hit points, uh, it's not going to matter tremendously. This is where you you sell your soul as Onimaru for a king if you if you can. So the mix-up is a special block, especially a five. Ooh, sinks it with the king throw. Nicely done. That's aggressive and is rewarded for it. Nope, the bard on set point. Carpe Guitarum needs to decide. Now he's going to play. Okay, stays with Onimaru. Yep. Not mad at that for sure. Very fast plays from Nope. Very, very decisive player. Opens up with the Okie Doke King. He is successful. Smashing his opponent to the ground. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Same opening as last game. So uh, Carpe Patab perhaps saying like, okay, well, I mean, you opened King last time, so you're probably not going to do that this time. Probably try to normal me. Yeah, get king, play king. It's good strategy. Okay, shows him the nine block. Will Nope the Bard block a second turn in a row is the question. And he does, yeah. And Carpe Guitarum was looking for, looking for the previous pattern to hold where it was like block with a nine, attack with something that beats a 10, block with a nine after, you know, the last exchange. Yep, Carpe just going in with the fives. Doesn't want to get hit by another king. Uh, that first turn king really did uh, some psychic damage there. It looks like. And now down on hit points, it becomes scarier and scarier to just lose to a normal throw. Ooh, four attack. Nice gold burst by Nope the Bard. calling out Carpe's aggressive uh, stance thus far. A very fast face down. This is where you're like, oh, well, I mean, I should probably just dodge, right? And then you take 50 and it's terrible. Okay, goes block, block. Is willing to show that he's willing to block in the face of potential checkmate buster there. 12 card rook. Spooky stuff. I think we'd probably play an attack as Onimaru here. Ooh. Nope. Blocks out. The Joker. 14 card hand. This is the. Jo he's, he's assuming just reform here. Gets another ace. That's uh, three known aces in hand. Discards the jack. Spooky times. Carpe unmoved or uh, making a a strong strong indication that he is unmoved. Ooh, there it is, the checkmate buster. Unfortunately. Carpe takes that opportunity to play the queen, kind of option selecting the ace-ace uh, or checkmate buster. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you still have 90 hit points. Yeah, <laughs> local man narrowly escapes death. <laughs> the choice was not made today. Yeah, slight, uh, slight problem with the timing there. Let's see if Nope the Bard can recollect. Does get scooped here, but uh, don't mind losing to throws. Uh, Carpe, again, the face down. Yeah, I think he just let it go. Yeah, exactly. Giving up uh, giving up cards as Rook is um, can be quite bad. One of the strongest uh, components of the Jister special, of course. 
is just uh, blocking your way back up to CMB and then threatening AA CMB special block. <laughs> there it is. We have alternate ways. There, the, <laughs> the dark side of the forest is a pathway to many abilities some might call unnatural. <laughs> there we go. Confirmed CMB. Easy peasy. None of this uh, nonsense blocking garbage. Just gold burst. Power up your eights because you got three of them. Be a big rock man. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right. CMB back in hand. Oh, we just do it. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, the choice was made. Yeah, nope, the bard. Just just putting it all out on the table. Carpe guitarum. Hoping that the previous patterns were true, would hold true. Going with the seven throw. And now, uh, quite an uphill battle to climb. Uh, every five and three in R Nope the Bard's deck is going to be an absolute menace. And uh, Kings, especially the fact that he's at 15 right now, oof, it's not going to matter. Why am I even talking? Game over. GG. Nope the Bard closes it out. Um, if he's got a queen or a jack. Yep, got it. Okay, all right. Had the Joker. Does not die. All right, now every three and five is lethal uh, from Nope the Bard's side. Power's up for AA immediately. Spooky, spooky stuff. Um, if ever there was a time for the Guile theme to start playing, uh, Carpe is hoping it's now. Uh, but this is a truly immense amount of work that he's got to give here to take out the Rockman. The courage to keep throwing. Let's see, uh, three twos. We'll play a good say. <laughs> Ooh. Oni life. Oh yeah, I missed that. That's crazy. This is this 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 man is an absolute genius. Or oh, he's gone mad. The checkmate buster has driven him round the twist as no one but uh, lackadaisical and hilarious uh ooh, do we have do we have it do we live we live pull the aces out of his hand and how much damage is behind this king okay 17 bringing it back guile theme is still in play powers up for a single ace Powers up for a second ace. Aggressive reloading noises. So is it throw? Is it ace ace? Or is it special block? Ooh. Avoids the special block. Haha. <laughs> Well, can you avoid, God, six more? <laughs> worried about, I mean, they're the same block. <laughs> there's nothing you can hit them with. Oh, I guess the the ace, the single ace. Ooh, there's the three. That's all I know. <laughs> oh my god! Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna is he gonna go all the way?
I think any throw would have been lethal the last five turns. Will he do it again? Oh, does he have another queen? Does he have another nine? Is the question. He's got to have the... Oh my god! He just has it. What is that? The third final authority? It's the fourth final authority. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Two jacks. Two jacks. Single four floating around. Four attack from Carpe is super spooky here. Four successfully option selects everything except wake up queen, wake up jack. Uh, and I guess loses to wake up king, but you tie the game at that point. And like even tying from this position is insane. Oh, if he had just played it. Oh no. Well, okay, you can't be mad at that. I mean, yes, as Carpe Guitarum, if I was if I was there, <laughs> if I was this close from K, yeah. Oh no. Oh, too bad. Well, beautifully played. I, I mean, gotta give kudos to Carpe Guitarum there for an, a nearly incredible comeback. Um, and nope the bard for closing it out. Totally all out of my pistol J or something. Yeah, I mean I mean that's the options, right? You gotta Gotta pick what you want to die to. Ah, I did have the jack. Went for the throw. What the the stones on this man? <laughs> Reads are real. I mean, they they are real. Yeah, yeah. Very nice set. Very glad I caught that. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I can't imagine how you could not enjoy that set. Uh, it was phenomenal to watch. Uh, and until next time, enjoy yourselves some yummy. Cheers.